My name is Albert Park, and I'm the director of the Institute for Emerging Market Studies at Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And I'm very happy to welcome all of you to another presentation in our Emerging Market Insights series, which we co-organized with the Institute for Public Policy at HKUSD, as well as EY Hong Kong. And we're very grateful to uh, EY for providing this uh, very nice venue uh, for this uh, ongoing series that we uh, organize periodically. Um, today we have uh, a very interesting presentation looking at China's role in global technological leadership uh, by my colleague uh, uh, Nabahar Sharif. Uh, but before I introduce Nabahar, I would like to um, ask uh, uh, Jack Goldstone, the director of Institute for Public Policy, to say a few words. Um, of welcome as well. Thank you, Albert, and thank you to EY for hosting us in this venue. I just want to say a few words about the new Institute for Public Policy that we just launched at HKUST. Public policy has become increasingly complex. Solving the problems that have been created by new technologies is a real challenge. What are the implications of artificial intelligence and robotics for jobs? What are the implications of new chemicals for the environment? How do we think about the transformation of societies from increasingly young to increasingly old? And what will be the biology of aging? And what will be the engineering required to accommodate an aging population? These are some of the issues that we are looking at in the new Institute for Public Policy. Our goal is to bring a scientifically rigorous approach to understanding public policy problems, and particularly to focus on those public policy issues that are raised by science and technology, or where applying science and technology can be most helpful in finding solutions for issues of public concern. Uh, I hope you'll continue to see our name at events like these. Uh, we have another event that we're co-sponsoring with IEMS, uh, on Friday to look at international cooperation on renewable energy. And we will be promoting events dealing with innovation policy, uh, air and water quality, and other issues that we think are important to the quality of life in Hong Kong, China, and beyond. So we hope you'll look for us and join us in these events as we go forward. Thank you, Robert. I should also say one word about our institute which is supported by EY. Uh, we have about 40 plus faculty associates from the various business school departments and the social science division who conduct research on emerging markets issues and our faculty at uh, HKUST. And we organize a large number of events, academic and policy and business talks, uh, to try to disseminate the insightful policy relevant and business relevant research of our faculty associates. So today is a very good example of this. Uh, Namahar Sharif is a associate professor of social science at HKUST. Uh, Namahar earned his PhD from Cornell University uh, in science and technology studies, and also completed the executive education program in innovation for economic development at Harvard. Uh, he has published uh, articles in leading uh, research journals, especially policy-related journals, uh, research policy, science and public policy, international journal of technology management, and others, and has uh, been very successful getting research funded by the Hong Kong Research Grants Council and the Public Policy Research Fund for Hong Kong. Uh, he is, has consulted for the Innovation and Technology Commission, the HKSAR government from uh, 2006 to 2010, and his research focuses on innovation-related linkages in Hong Kong and between Hong Kong and the Pearl River Delta. And he's going to be presenting um, recent research, and I think there's also a policy brief, a thought leadership brief that he's uh, authored, which is part of your information package, uh, which I think will also summarize some of the main ideas of this presentation. So, welcome.